Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to solve one very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have to find all real values of x. So let's get started by writing a square root must be positive for real x. So we will begin with our RHS side only. So we will write 7x minus 12 minus x square this should be positive or we can take minus common so x square minus 7x plus 12 this should be positive now we will multiply this inequality by negative 1 inequality will get reversed so we will write x square minus 7x plus 12 this should be negative now we will factorize LHS so we will split minus 7x as minus 3x minus 4x. Then we have plus 12 negative. Now from first two terms we can take x common. So in the bracket we can write x minus 3. Then we will take minus 4 common from last two terms and get the same bracket x minus 3. They should be negative. Now x minus 3 is common. So x minus 3 times x minus 4. This product should be negative for x to be real. So we can write one condition on x should lie in the interval 3 and 4. So our condition or inequality for x to be real, it should lie in the interval 3 and 4. Equality may hold true for boundaries. Now we have to solve our equation. So I will begin from here. So we can write x square this product only minus 10x minus 8x minus 18x minus 8 times minus 10 we can write 80. Now we have 1 also. So in total if I will write this radicand part only then we have to write x square minus 18x plus 1 plus 80, 81. And this is perfect square of x minus 9. Now we will write our LHS. A square root of 9 minus a square root of 9 minus x minus 3 and then we will put a square root and there we will write x minus 9 whole square. Now square root of a square is mod a. We will write our LHS a square root of 9 minus x times a square root of 9 minus x minus 3. Then we will write mod of x minus 9. Now for the interval or x should be in the interval 3 and 4. We know that mod of x minus 9. This must be equal to minus of x minus 9. So we will write here minus of x minus 9. And this value we are going to apply here. Let's apply this value to our equation LHS. So we will write our equation square root of 9 minus x times square root of 9 minus x minus 3 and mod of x minus 9. There we will write minus of x minus 9. Now this minus and minus will give us plus square root of 9 minus x times square root of 9 plus x minus 3 times x minus 9. Now we will multiply x minus 3 times x minus 9 first. So here I can write x square minus 9x minus 3x minus 12x minus 3 times minus 9 plus 27 and 9 is here 
Now I will add 9 and 27 and we can write x square minus 12x. 9 plus 27 is 36 which is again perfect a square of x minus 6. So we'll write our LHS a square root of 9 minus x times a square root of x minus 6 whole square. Now square root of a square is mod a. We will write a square root of 9 minus x times mod of x minus 6. This is our LHS. Now if x lies in the interval 3 and 4, then mod of x minus 6, this would be equal to minus of x minus 6. So here we are going to write, instead of mod x minus 6, it should be minus of x minus 6. So we will write the square root of 9 minus x times mod of x minus 6. Now we will put minus of 9 minus x as it is and then we will write minus of x minus 6. This will be equal to square root of 9 plus x times x minus 6. Now we will simplify our radicand part which will be equal to 9 plus x square minus 6x. Again this is one perfect square of x minus 3. So we will write x minus 3 whole square as a radicand. Now again square root of a square is mod a. We will write mod of x minus 3. If x lies in the interval 3 and 4, then we can write mod of x minus 3. This will be equal to x minus 3. As we have considered, equality may hold true for 3. So our LHS ultimately we will write equal to x minus 3. This is our LHS for x to be real. Now we will put this value to our left hand side. So I will write x minus 3 in LHS, RHS. If I will consider its factor form, we will write minus x minus 3 times x minus 4 over 2. Take all the terms to LHS, x minus 3 plus x minus 3 times x minus 4 over 2 equal to 0. Now we can take x minus 3 common. So in the bracket we will write 1 plus x minus 4 over 2 equal to 0. Now we will simplify this curly bracket. x minus 3 will as it is. Here we will write 2 plus x minus 4 in the numerator and denominator is 2 equal to 0. So from here I can write x minus 3 times x minus 2 over 2 which is equal to 0. So from here if we will use product 0 rule we will get 2x values or 2 solutions 3 and 2. For our equation x is lying in the interval 3 and 4 for solutions to be real. So we are going to reject 2. So equality is holding true. So we can assume x should lie in the interval included 3 and excluded 4. So our final answer becomes x equal to 3. Now we are going to check verify our solution whether it is satisfying our equation or not. So I will write here check x equal to 3. 
let's put x equal to 3. So I can write LHS side as 9 minus 3 times the square root of 9 minus. This bracket will give us 0. So no need to write after that square root because that product will give us 0 flat. If I will write RHS, then this was minus of x minus 3 times x minus 4 over 2. Once we will plug in x equal to 3 over here, we will get minus of 3 minus 3. So we can write directly 0 times 3 minus 4 over 2. So our RHS is 0. This is our RHS. Now we have to only make sure LHS should be 0. So this product is 0. So LHS is square root 9 minus 3 is square root 9. This will be equal to square root 9 minus 3 times 3. Will be equal to square root 9 minus 9. Will be equal to square root 0 which is 0. So our LHS is 0. Our RHS is also equal to 0. That means our solution x equal to 3 is true and verified solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.